Welcome to the Edpuzzle video tutorial. To get started, head to edpuzzle.com and click on the sign up button. Then, select the I'm a teacher option. Now you have two choices. The first is to sign in with Google. Perfect if your school uses Google Classroom. All you have to do is click on the Sign in with Google button and select your Google account. The second option is to sign up with Edpuzzle and create a username and password. Click on the button to get started, then enter your name and email address, and click on create new account and you're in. Now it's time to choose your school. Type in your school name, find it in the drop down menu. Choose the subject that you teach, and click on Join School. If you're a private tutor, a homeschool instructor, a corporate trainer, or currently unemployed, just select the Add New School option and enter your information. Now all you have to do is verify your email address by going to your inbox and clicking on the link in the verification email from Edpuzzle. Congratulations, now your Edpuzzle account is all set up. When you log into your puzzle account, the first thing you will see is your home screen, the content home curriculum of your school. You will see popular channels, Edpuzzle, YouTube, and other things. Right in the center of your home screen you will see collection of video clips sourced from either your school or things that are trending. In the top right corner, you will see content grade book, my classes and your account. If you click on your account you will see a drop down menu. Edpuzzle video includes things that you will see in a thumbnail of the video. Next thing you will see is the duration of the video clip. Below you will see the name of the clip and the author or the person who created this clip. On the left you will see home, curriculum, and popular channels. If you click curriculum it will give you content for your classes. Choose between elementary school, middle school and high school. Let's click on view content for elementary school. Let's say I teach English. I'm looking for a video for consonants. If I click any of these clips I'll be prompted to the Edpuzzle viewer. This is what it looks like if your video has a question. They will be displayed right here at 38 seconds. There is an open-ended question and there are one more open-ended questions at 1.48. If I play this video clip and skip a little bit forward, when we reach the first open-ended question. The video stops and prompted with the first open-ended question which I need to answer and this is how you can preview the content. If you want to move back to the home screen simply click on Ed Puzzle in the left top corner. We are back to the home screen right on the curriculum. You'll see the name of your school if I click on my school name it. will show all the videos or all the Ed Puzzles that have been created by teachers in my school. It will show me video clips that are related to my subject area. When I register I chose general education as my subject area. That's why all the video clips that fall under the same category are displayed first. If I scroll down I can select another subject area. These for example are videos which are trending and in different subjects. Again you will see a thumbnail duration number of questions name of the clip. 
and person who created this clip. If you click on any of these clips you will see similar interface video viewer in the middle you will see questions. On the right, you will also see a time frame and where the questions will appear in this video clip. There are a couple of things you can do once you've found a clip. The first thing you can do is copy. After a click, Edpuzzle tells you that that puzzle has been copied to your content. So now this video clip is in my content. When you click on edit and puzzle, it will take you to the editor this. Is where you had questions or comments to the actual video. Let's click on add pause on the left top corner and go to our content. So now in my content, I have two clips the first one that was created. When we clicked copy, and then another one that was generated when we started editing. So as a teacher, you need to know that if you find something in the Edpuzzle platform, and you start editing Edpuzzle that will automatically create a copy of this video and put it in your content. Once you are in your content there are a couple of things you can do. Click on this clip which will bring you to the viewer that we saw before but you can also select this clip and assign this to your students. You can move it to a folder, duplicate, or make a copy. Delete it, by selecting it. Let's try and move it to a folder. When I click move it to folder Ed Puzzle will ask me which folder do I want to move it to. Just create a new folder for my consonants when I click to create a folder. I will select this folder now when this folder is selected you can see your video inside. Video inside. To go back to my content, I'll click my content, if you want to delete. The clip from your content, click on this box, select and delete this clip. And remember because we copied the original clip we're not going to delete the video. From another person, we're just deleting this video from our content. If you click on add content you will have four options. First one, is to create a video this will enable you to. One, you can create an Ed puzzle video completely from scratch. Two, you can upload a video. Let's you upload files from your computer. If you embed some questions in there, so this is where you will go to upload files that are located on your computer. Three, add content in a student project. Your students can create their own videos. This folder will appear under your content. You can use this feature to keep your content organized. So, if we've looked at our home curriculum, our school and content right underneath, you have popular channels like it Puzzle, YouTube, Khan Academy, and others. If you click on any of these channels, this will take you to a selection of video clips. 
and a search engine which you can use to find video clips for your lesson. Remember that if you go to any of those content, none of them will have any questions. These are just video clips from Khan Academy or YouTube channel. As you notice, none of them have any questions embedded. However, if you go to Edpuzzle some of the clips in Edpuzzle will have questions embedded because these are Edpuzzle video clips and that puzzle videos have questions. Another feature is that you need to, to be aware of the search content right at the top when you type. In the search content, from here you will search the entire library of Edpuzzle. You'll notice that now that puzzle will show me all possible video clips on some of them will have questions in them. Some of them are just YouTube video clips that I can use to create my own videos. Now let's move ahead and talk a little bit about your account. In the top right corner from here you can do a couple of things. You can edit your profile if you click on your name. You can customize your first name, your last name, your account and your password. If you click on settings there are a couple of things here that you need to make sure. If you click on settings there are a couple of things here that you need to make sure. You switch on to prevent students from skipping video and questions. It is absolutely necessary. I think to have this feature on. If you click plan. My Edpuzzle is basic. I have storage of 20 video clips on the basic account. You can invite your co-teachers to Edpuzzle and you will have additional storage. If these teachers sign up through your invitation, if you click on the resources this will open a library of things that can help you explore Edpuzzle in more depth. Certifications will take you to another page where if you select that. I'm a teacher and I want to find PDU will be guided to a vast library of professional development resources not only on Edpuzzle, but on educational technology, in general. Most of this, if not all professional development opportunities are free. And offered by Edpuzzle you get a digital certification and a badge once you've completed those tutorials. What's new? will take you to the list of most current updates with that puzzle today. We've looked at Edpuzzle home screen and navigation. You've learned how to navigate through the curriculum. 
your school, familiarize with other kinds of contents and settings. If you have any questions about the materials we cover today, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as early as I can. In our next tutorial, we will look at how to actually create your Edpuzzle video. How to embed questions notes or a voiceover. I hope this user interface tutorial was helpful, and I'll see you next time.